Hello everyone and welcome to set 6 of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last set we were at the Olympus Coliseum. This set, we're back to Travis Town to find out what these weird little gummies we've been finding around do. So, let's get to it. Travel the long flight again. Turn that off, because I need it. Woohoo! God, I wish I, I wish I had my haste gummy. I may actually have one. I'll have to, uh, start building gummy ships soon. Out. There we go. One of the things I do love a lot about these games, or this game and the Kingdom Hearts 2 game, is that you can build your own gummy ship. If you've seen any game I've ever played that involves crafting, you know I love those games. Or at least those aspects of the game. Seven Days to Die, Minecraft, um, Fallout 4? Even <laughs> love it. That's fun. Give me it. There we go. Especially if the uh, thing becomes useful later on. Especially love that. Working way through that. There we go. Hell, all of you! Jeez! Woo! Mm. It's still a little weird if I press down my scope ship starts flying up. Oh well. You! Bye! And there we go. Come on, where's Jarvis down at? That's getting close. There it is. Destroy it. There's actually ships flying towards it. Holy shit. Don't remember that happening. Mission. What? What'd I do? There are missions in the gummy ships here? I am confused. Let me go check out that thing or two. Journal. Not almost well here. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that up later. And you? Let us do this. <laughs> We need to destroy all the can- uh, 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 Extinguish all the candles, unfortunately, we're not quick enough to do it with our keyblade. But, if we get rid of all these chairs... Angle ourselves just right... We should be able to do it with the... There we go! Open up! Defense up! Nice! Yay! Up crease. Up crease? Increase! What the fuck's an up crease? Alright, uh, buddy, can you give us anything new? Mirror shop! Uh, nothing worthwhile. Uh, we'll buy a few of these. Buy a few, I mean. Five. Save those for later. Okay then. We can also fill around with there a few, a few other things. Like going over here. Ah, I don't want to fight anything yet. Okay, fine. Tech train. Chain. Tech train? What? Right. Magic Thunder. Okay. That'll be useful later on. That's for all the way. Don't need to worry about that at all. 
Alright, we need to talk to Sid. Where is he? Actually, first, over here. Trendy. Don't forget, thanks to our uh, little jaunt through the deep jungle, we got the Red Trandy. Now, technically, we can get over here without using the Red Trandy, but we need to come back here a lot later on. Not much point, not, not much point to doing it then, though. More puppies! So let's just get it done now. Alrighty then. Sid was inside here. He ran the, access the accessory shop. Also, I ignited uh, this. We need that for later on. Hey, Sid. Hey, chat. No, we talked to Leon. That's right. He's uh, somewhere special. Saving, saving, saving. There we go. Let's talk to Yuffie, see if she'll tell us where he's at. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to remember something. Nope, okay, never mind. Oh. I guess that's later on. Right, Yuffie's over here. Okay, we trains are often, you know, the channel, yeah, okay. So she gives chills where he's at. That's good. Let's just roll our way over there. Alright then. Okay. There is a uh, final mix of only Heartless here. Um, I think it only spawns later. But it's a heartless you want to avoid. If not, you'll kill us. No guarantee. It, no, 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 there's no um, if answer about, about it. It will kill you. Let's ignore these guys for now. Oh, and then he killed them so I can activate the trendy, don't I? Yep. Okay then. I got rid of them. Trendy! Break through the iron bars. Somehow. Swim. 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 Alright. Let's examine this. More puppies? Oh. Hey, Leon, what's up? So he found the keyhole. Found two of them. Yeah. The keyblade auto uh, locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars has a keyhole. And each one leads to the heart of that world. Okay, so, statistically speaking, let's go with this real quickly. Wonderland is an entire world, right? Actually, better yet, let's do, let's do it this way. Tarzan is basically our planet, because it has England and a bunch of all that fun stuff. The simple fact that we landed in a location that's even remotely near the keyhole is staggering. Because you have to remember, these are all entire planets and their own little worlds and all that fun stuff. Not, you know, continents and stuff like that. This is a completely different concept. So the fact that we landed anywhere near them is just mind-boggling to begin with. Anyway, there must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was in Anthem's report. Excuse me? The hearts enter through the keyhole and do something to the world, the world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? That's why your keys are so important. Uh, please lock the keyholes. You're the only one like you who can. Hell no. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah. We gotta find your friends at King Mickey. I guess you're right. Okay. Anything else? Hey, Leon. The gummy block, uh, this gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it is? What's for? Ah, uh, internal monologue. 
That's said, he should know. Wait, Sora, take this with you. Earth Shrine. Earth Shrine? Earth Shine. The stone holds some mysterious power. I've been carrying it for luck, I want you to hold on to it. How to use it? <laughs> so, there are a series of items throughout the game that allows us to summon uh, other Disney characters. This one is very interesting. Uh, not very interesting, it's actually pretty cool. But in order to get the summon stones to activate, we need to talk to the fairy godmother. I'll demonstrate them, but I won't actually. I really will never really use them during actual battle, except for one. Uh, my world is a spirit, too. Alright, let's talk to Merlin first, maybe? Never mind. I was supposed to talk to her, and she gives it to me. I guess I have to wait for a little bit later. But yeah, we're supposed to be able to do that. I may just do a compilation video of all the summons. We'll see. There we go. This keyblade actually looks pretty cool with it, too. With the summon. I love that ability, it's just so fuck you. See ya. See ya. Yep. Play shard, good. I need that. Two play shards, okay. I'm keeping track of all of the sensitive stuff, so give me a second. Two play shards brings us up to four. Nice. Make sure that real quickly. Yep, okay, yeah. I believe, as I mentioned, I have one for, or I have a list of all the uh, materials we need. There we go. Hey, buddy, what's up? What you got there? Hey! Well, if, isn't it, if it ain't gummy block. Yep. What's this one for? You're kidding me. You find a gummy ship and you don't even know and you know and you don't know nothing about navigation gummies? Bunch of pinheads. Airspace ain't no playground. There's a lot we don't know, so what? <laughs> we have to use the gummy ship to go to other worlds. We don't have a choice. Whoa, easy. I didn't know. No hard feelings, alright? Well, I guess I could lend you all a hand. Then. Thanks. Basically, with navigation gummies, you can go to new places. You won't want your ship, right? I'll install for you. But I got this thing I gotta go deliver first. What do you need to deliver? Just this book. It's real old. When the guy brought it in, it was practically falling apart. Too beat up to restore it to the way it was. But overall, I did a decent job putting it back together. Anyway, you mind delivering it for me? It's the old house past the uh, third district. Look for a big fire sign. What was that? Hmm, the bell at the gizmo shop is ringing. Go check it out if you want, but deliver that book for me first. Are you done? Go by the house in the third district, and I'll be there. All right then. Let's actually uh, take a shortcut. Alright. Gotta love shortcuts. And... Straight to the mission to study. Uh, so I'm recording this right after the uh, Olympus Coliseum episode, so... My, th my voice is still a little sore. Hey! Hello, Merlin! Sup? Oh, that book. Sid asked you to bring this to me. Thank you. So, uh, you wish to know what kind of book it is? I don't even know myself. In fact, it's not mine. 
somehow it found its way into my bag one day. It was such a curious book, I asked Sid to repair it for me. Well, I guess I'll put it in here somewhere for, uh, for now. The book holds a great secret, uh, the missing pages will unlock it. I'll leave the book over there, do you, uh, do look at it whenever you like. Mr. Grudge Sid for repairing it for me. Oh, and that son of yours, there we go. Ask Fair Godmother about it. Do you know what this is? Oh, the poor thing. He has turned into a summon gem. A summon gem? This little creature lived in a world that was consumed by darkness. While the world vanishes, so do his inhabitants. This one has such a strong heart, he became a gem instead of vanishing with this world. Can he regain himself? Yes, but only his spirit. Now watch. Simba! Now we can now use summon spells whenever we want to, so long as we have max magic, I believe, or the magic required to summon it, and uh, the entire party, which is Donald, Goofy, and Sora. Carefully, you cannot summon uh, cast summon magic while any party members KO. Some creatures withdraw from about once they run out of MP. You can also dismiss them whenever or throw yada yada yada. Uh, okay. So let's go check out Simba. This is a place where we can practice magic whenever we want to. I'm gonna just talk to him. Alright, practice magic. Uh, let's do stationary. Summon Simba. And there we go! So, what's cool about Simba is, he will run around attacking enemies normally, you can use your magic whenever. Or what's cool about summons, here we go. Um, though useful for attacks, uh, Simba for himself will actually run around doing physical attacks. But if you use the special abilities for them, they'll do something special with them. For example, with Simba, he has a charge up and an AoE roar. You can use it uh, whenever, however long you want to with a charge, but you get the most for a full max charge. Like so. That's a low level spell. And full. But since we're not really good with magic right now, yeah, kind of pointless. I go back. There are other summons that um, are better. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to get what good way to describe it. That's spoiling it. There's one summon we get later on that's really helpful uh, because it does a healing effect as well as an auto res. Uh, it's really helpful uh, to have, especially in proud mode, when you're going for the. Um, or not proud, but well, it's, it's easy. It's helpful in any mode, honestly. But um, it's even more helpful later on, especially if you're going for the trophy that uh, you beat the game without dying once. There you are. What's going on? Riku! Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island, too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kairi too, with their help. Who are they? We've visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. 
Oh, and guess what? Sora's the Keyblade Master. Oh, I just saw that. What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget us. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Oh, well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. In all seriousness, why couldn't Riku come with us, Donald? You didn't give us a reason, you just said no. What the fuck, man? As this is where, um, Sid is. I turned your book. You guys hear of Maleficent? I hear she's in town. Who is she? A witch, man. She's a witch. She's the reason the town is full of Heartless. Don't take her lightly. She's been using the Heartless for years. We lost our world thanks to her. One day a swarm of Heartless took over our world. That was nine years ago. I got out of, uh, I got out of that mess and came here with these guys. That's awful, really. Our ruler was a wise man named Ansem. He decided his life to he dedicated his life to studying the Heartless. His report should tell us how to get rid of the Heartless. Where's this report? We don't know. It got scattered when our world uh, world was destroyed. I'm sure Maleficent got most of the pages. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend. He quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. What a bitch. So you delivered that book? The navigation gummy is installed and ready to go. You find another one, you bring it to me. I threw in a warp gummy for the heck of it. It allows us to teleport from world to world, which is easy. Uh, you can now jump to worlds you've been to before. You better get back to work. Uh, <laughs> better get back to my real job. What's my real job? You'll see. See me at the first district. I've been thinking about this, the bell in the second district. The one that rang a, a bit ago? The one above the sh gizmo shop. There's a legend about it, you know? But it's all boarded up. Nobody can get in there. Hey, go check it out. Ring it three times, see if anything happens. Alright. Before that, though, we're going to save, because I don't want to do all over again if I die. Okay, let's more you guys. Oop, let's roll. As I was saying earlier, by the way, the uh, summon that uh, auto reses you and heals you, that summon does not have a uh, magic gauge. It will run for as long as it's been summoned until it does the auto res or you dismiss it. So it's really fucking helpful. Especially for those doing the um, Don't Die Once playthrough or for those that are in proud mode. Unfortunately, we won't be getting that summon for quite a while due to the obvious fact that it auto reses. But it just, it just makes boss fights so much less stressful. Roll, roll, roll. Ah, let's go to the gizmo shop. We could also stop by uh, the Dalmatian house, but we're going we're going to turn this all in one lump sum. I'm just gonna skip all these guys. Ah, right, here we go. 
Also, since I used the lightning on that wire, this place is now running. That's a fun sign that this is a great place to grind for money, because the heartless that spawn here are just a huge plethora. Also, after lighting, uh, lighting the uh, wire, if you examine this clock, after pushing some buttons around here, you'll be able to get uh, two postcards. But I'll do that later on, so we're off screen. Takes time. And we're uh, getting close to uh, 30 minutes, and I want to end the set up, or set by then. Climbing up. Bring it! Right, let's just get through these guys. Give me all these. Up and up! So we're here three times, eh? Ichi. Ooh, fire. Neat. What's the next one? Weird little lights. And sun. Hooray for Japanese. And water. Butterflies! And there's the keyhole. Alright, before we actually go touch that... Technically we can go and save as well. That we always do is come back out here and uh, examine the keyhole. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to climb up there and do that again if I die. Which is a very good possibility with this fight. There's Sid. He sells us gummy pieces. That's, that's, that's his real business. But uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. Saving. I'm so glad saving. <laughs> I'm kind of annoyed by this, actually, now I think about it. I'm irritated that saving in modern games, such like, such like Fallout and whatnot, take four fucking ever to uh, save. Whereas, you know, PS2 era, it takes forever for it to get the initial save, but afterwards it's like, save, whoop, done. It's rather annoying. Although I understand why, you know, a lot, it's saving a lot more than it usually does. Stop grabbing to the ledge! God damn it! Ah, oh, him again. We're stronger than we were before, motherfucker. Out of the way! <laughs> I rolled right into it. That was awesome. Yeah, like it's gonna be that easy. We deal X amount of damage if this happens. A <laughs> cox, god damn it. Now we fight. Something new. <clears throat> the opposite armor. This guy's annoying. But like before, log onto the main body and attack. You get good AoE damage on the rest of the body parts. Heal. Huh. Come on, get up there. Oh. Come on. Still doing good. Yeah, that corner. That be ace, nice. Come on. 
damn. I, I kind of feel bad for it. Oh, there's one with limbs. No limb. I don't think you can destroy it without destroying all its limbs first. There's no limb. What's annoying though now is it will turn into a railgun and will pretty much almost one instant, one hit kill you. If you're not careful. That attack. Luckily, the telegraph's not crazy. Ow. Oh. And there we go. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Then again, this is normal mode, so... Go figure, right? Now learn the spell Arrow. Arrow is helpful as a defense spell. We got another navigation gummy. So Arrow, by the way, does this. Defense. This will basically defend us against um, melee attacks, magical attacks. Um, cuts down the attack basically by, I believe, a third. Pretty helpful. Uh, it increases defense later on. Um, I think in the final form, it will actually deal natural damage against enemies that touch the barrier. In all, it's a pretty good defensive spell. But not really that great for anything else really anyway that's it for this uh, set i hope you guys enjoyed it next time we will be going to a new world outside this area so hope you're looking forward to it and i'll see you guys next time till then have a wonderful week bye bye hello and thank you for watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you really like this video feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to see some of my other videos feel free to click one of the links hope you guys have a wonderful day bye